most by far of ladies are pulled in to sure, strong, genuine men all right with their manliness, as indicated by another college think about which exposes third wave woman's rights and its war on testosterone and conventional manliness. Scientists at Coventry and Aberystwyth Colleges in the United Kingdom examined the rankings of men whose photographs were transferred to Tube Crush, a British hot or not sort site, and found that macho men, especially ones in suits, still rule on the chain of command of sexual fascination. Well known pictures likewise frequently tried to concentrate on a man's biceps, pectorals, and chest, especially in the event that he was strong in those regions. The examination finished up. Many going with remarks likewise stressed a man's constitution and assumed sexual ability, the scientists note. Pack Daniels reports, the examination loans validity to the conviction that men and ladies are hardwired through developmental science to be pulled into specific characteristics of the inverse sex, qualities that were created amid the chasing gathering days of human tribes in which survival of the species relied upon solid hereditary qualities. Ladies specifically are normally pulled into physically dynamic chance taking men in light of the fact that their potential kids would adjust better to the earth with the alpha males more grounded more appealing qualities contrasted with those of say a low testosterone so a kid that is the reason ladies pursue the great quality awful young men while companions owning the pleasant folks who do everything third wave women's activists say yet at the same time can't draw on ladies what's more as a rule the main time a decent person at long last gets a young lady is the point at which she begins to organize the security and provisioning of a decent father, otherwise known as Zuckerberg carbon copy with a designing degree, over the great quality alpha male who declines to marry a lady he effectively grabbed amid her getting myself trek to Jamaica. At the end of the day, a few many years of women's liberation, which is as of now blurring in prevalence can't abrogate a great many years of developmental science advising ladies to pursue the extremely poisonous manliness belittled by women's activists. Along these lines it ought to be nothing unexpected then that the women's activist tour against essential science has brought about a mutilated dating market in which generally the best 20% of men draw on the larger part of ladies in light of the fact that other 80% of guys are excessively impacted by the bogus profits of women's rights to turn ladies on. Obviously, that is not to make light of the developing narcissism of Instagram-dependent young ladies who exaggerate themselves because of the dopamine hits they get from sexually baffled beta or bitters who like their web-based social networking pictures and posts, prompting a ten times increment of consideration these young ladies would some way or another never get, all things considered. Be that as it may, it's phony consideration? a figment made by cell phones and online networking which are making men and ladies more separated than any time in recent memory when joined with the us versus them mindset of third wave women's rights. The initial step is to unlearn what feminized molding has shown you to its point turning into a sense of identity interest as a part of your identity, composed Rollo Tomasi in his book The Rational Male. You have to end up noticeably impenetrable to helpful allegations of misogyny or 1950s cave dweller thinking at whatever point you attest yourself. The really positive, manly man separates himself from the matrix regardless of the world set against him, this oblivious meta-affirmation is the thing that makes a lady, and other men, pulled into you as an energetic, capable, yet solidly certain manly man. You need to really live it to set a case of it.